also new at 10. I'm, I'm satisfied, 100% satisfied that justice has been served. She was almost beaten to death with a shovel. Brittany Marcel reacts to her attacker's sentence. For the first time, we heard from Justin Hansen, who apologized to Brittany Marcel at his sentencing today, but still never owned up to that crime. The judge gave him the maximum sentence, 18 years behind bars. We have team coverage tonight. We start with News 13's Marissa Lucero, who is live at District Court. Marissa. Oh, Dean, it was an emotional day for both families. Now, it was three months ago when Hansen first took a plea deal in this case. So the judge told him today, uh, that she had no doubt he committed this crime and it was because of one single piece of evidence. I am going to impose the full 18 years in the Department of Corrections. Sentenced to the maximum, Justin Hansen will spend 18 years behind bars for a crime he committed nearly 10 years ago. This is a absolutely tragic, heart-wrenching case. Today in court, prosecutors painted a picture of what happened to the then 17-year-old Brittany Marcel when she got home from school the afternoon of September 11, 2008, saying she was surprised by Hansen, attacked, then beaten with a shovel. In April, Hansen pled no contest to one charge of attempted murder and burglary. Today, without owning up to the crime, he apologized to the Marcel family. For everything they've been through. Hansen's parents also spoke to the judge, still insisting their son's innocent and a good man. I agree with them 100% that this is a monster. What I don't agree with is it was not Justin. My son Justin has always been kind and compassionate to people of all ages. He's never shown any violent tendencies in all of his 34 years. His mother even played an audio recording in court of one of Hansen's daughters singing to him. You always forever be daddy's little girl. I want you to know. But one of Hansen's former friends says he saw the warning signs when they were younger, even referred to Hansen as a monster. It's not a matter of if with him, it's a matter of when. And this happens to just be one of those situations he actually got caught on. Who knows if he's done this in the past or will do it again. In the end, Judge Cindy Leos told Hansen, although she felt for the impact this would have on his kids, his DNA was found at the crime scene and that was undisputable. And that was the bulk of their case against Mr. Hansen. And that droplet of blood is pretty profound for me. It wouldn't be there unless Mr. Hansen was there. A judge Leos also told Hansen that she felt his tears had nothing to do with the crime and more to do with regret that of his bad decision and the impact this would have on his four children. Dean, back to you. All right, Marissa, thank you. Hansen was sentenced to 18 years, but the DA says with good time, he could be out in half that.